Hi everyone, I'm Joseph. Welcome back. So we're in 6.2, and in this section, I'm going to show you how to do your homework. You would have already, if you've already seen 6.2, uh, the first video, I show you um, how to understand how to do your homework, and now I'm going to walk you through it. So here we go. Um, in your mind tap, if you're following along in that course, or if you're using the book, either one. I'll be using the start examples in the book, so that way um, you can see the answers in the back or even in mind tap, okay? So in the first section, you're gonna identify the main operator in the following propositions. Super easy. You don't really have to do anything. You just have to tell me what it is, right? Section two, a little harder. You have to translate. Then you have to uh, use the right logical operators. Then you have to solve by giving me the truth value of you know, what you've symbolized. And then the last part, we're gonna substitute um, these symbolized statements. We're gonna substitute the truth values in and then solve. Okay, so that's pretty much what you're looking at here. This. There we go. Okay. All right, so here we are in the first section. <clears throat> when you look here, you're gonna see parentheses, or parentheses. Excuse me for that dot, I don't know how that showed up. Just disregard that little guy. Let me see if I can do that. Oh, I did, okay. <clears throat> so what's the main operator? Well, we know we're gonna have to do what's inside these parentheses, and then we're gonna to have to negate. And so whatever we get on this side, and whatever we get over this side, the very last thing we do is that. So that's the main operator in conjunction. Um, let's go down. What about this one? We know we've got parentheses, more parentheses, we negate, negate. So whatever it is we get here, whatever value, let's just say it's true. We know that that guy is the last thing we'll do. So the triple bar is the main operator. Okay, let's go on to seven. How about this one? A little bit longer. So we know we have brackets, right? And I told you in the previous lecture, you gotta do whatever's in the brackets first, then, um, you know, you go on to the next. So what's inside these brackets? Parentheses, right? So you do that first, then you do the brackets, then you negate, and over here, you have this, parentheses. So we know we have to do either this side first, then that, or that side first, then this. Either way, the last thing we're doing is the conditional, the horseshoe. That's your main operator. And how do we know, again, the brackets and the parentheses are what you do first, not what you do last. Okay, so let's go down to 10. We're just starting to look at this. What we see here are brackets. So we have to do whatever's in there first, then negate. And we have parentheses here. So what's the last step? You got it. It's junction. That's the main operator. Let me give you another one. I'll throw you off a little bit. What if I said this? What is the main operator of this one? Give me a second to look at it. Okay. How many of you? said this one. If you said the conjunction, that'd be wrong. If you said the tilde, that'd be right. Why? Because we know we have to do whatever's in the brackets first. And the very last thing you do is the tilde. That'd be the main operator. 
you'll see something like that probably in your own or in the book. Okay, so let's go down to the next section. This one, we're going to straightforwardly translate, symbolize, and then um, give you the truth value. So in this one, it's not the case that Hitler ran the Third Reich. How do we uh, translate that, the letter? Okay. You said H. Fine. And you could use any letter you want. We're just going to use H to be consistent with Hitler, right? And then it's not the case that. So we got not H. Now, is it true that Hitler ran the Third Reich? Yeah. It is true. But we got a tilde out here. So we know that that's false. Because we know Hitler ran the Third Reich. So it turns out. This would be true. He did. But if you want to throw a negation in there, we know from history that the whole thing's just false. So the important thing here is to get the right operator and then to know the rules on how to solve it. And the bottom line with these is if you have a, a tilde, the true or false doesn't even matter, you know, which true value it is, you just take the opposite. So what you really have to know here is a little bit of history to do these because you have to figure out, well, is that true? All right, four. Hitler ran the Third Reich and Nixon did not run the presidency. So let's summarize this. Give you a minute to look at it. How many of you used an H for the first part? How many of you saw and? So you know it's a dot. And then what letter do you want to use for the second? If you go with the professor's rule, Take the first letter of the main word. And then maybe you saw that. You got a dot. So you got a H dot till the end. Did Hitler run the third right? Yep. Did Nixon resign from the presidency? Yes. I believe he, I believe he knew he was going to be impeached. And then he resigned before that happened. So, and that's not the case. So true. Well, if we have, what's the rules for the conjunction? Uh, you have to have both sides to be true. Give me a second. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay, so you have to have both sides true, and. Turns out one side's false, so the whole thing is false. Now this next one, seven. Washington was assassinated only if Edison invented the telephone. So we have this only if. We know this would be a horseshoe. You have to figure out where the W and the E go. Is it like this or is it like this, you have to go back to 6.1 and look at only if and find out if I had something to the right of that, is that the consequence? It turns out it is, so it's this. That's the right one. And was Washington assassinated? No. I believe he bled to death. He had a disease. They let out some blood because back then they thought it would help him, and it killed him. Modern science hadn't progressed enough. Sorry, Washington. Um, so Edison invented the telephone. That was false. I believe he invented the telegraph. What are the rules? So we know that if you have a false antecedent on these conditionals, the whole thing is true. In fact, the only time you could have false is when you have this. It's the only time. Things false. All the other combinations, it's true. Just as review, you can see this. I'll go up. Conditionals are one of the hardest. But right here. So true and a seed, false, all things false. Any other combination, so for ours, it's true. Okay, so let's go down. Is there our last one? 
If Hitler ran the Third Reich, then either Custer was killed by the Indians or Einstein discovered aspirin. So I'm going to let you look at it. <clears throat> we know we have a comma. We know we have an if. We know we have a then. We know we have an either. Either or. So when we have an if then, what symbol do we use? What logical operator? Or should. When you have an either or, wedge for the disjunction. So we got our symbols down because we look at our English, those trigger words, and we know that we're going to use those. And then we got a comma. So let's let's use the letters Hitler, H for Hitler, C for Custer, E for Einstein. So we know we're going to have something like this. Here's the, here's the question for you. Where do the parentheses go? Do they go here? Or do they go here? So that comma kind of helps you. <clears throat> and we know it's not this way. So if Hitler ran the third right, then either Custer was killed. Or, so we know parentheses go after the then. So this would be the correct way to formulate it. Did Hitler run the third right? Yes. Was Custer killed by the Indians? Did Einstein invent aspirin? No. So how do we solve the disjunction? At least one side had to be true, so the whole thing was true. And we're just going to have our horseshoe here, true. So we have a true horseshoe, true. We know the whole thing is. <clears throat> okay, so we're done with that. Now here, this is a cheat sheet. We know in our homework section, just in case you didn't know, I'll show you. And again, if you're following along in MindTap, you might have different instructions, but this is just for purposes of showing you the main types of homework questions you'll have. Or if you're following along with the book, you can simply go to section three. So right here he tells you, let A, B, and C equal or be true. X, Y, Z, they're false. So we're going to be substituting, okay? We'll do that over here. Let me, let me erase that jazz up there. Okay. So here's our cheat sheet. Okay. So we're just going to go and get busy substituting. Um, A is a true. X, Y, Z is false. That's it. You substitute in. You solve. What are the rules for the conjunction? Both sides have to be true in order for it to be true. So we know that's false. Why? Because you have that one side that's false. And let's go down. Our ABCs are true. X, Y, Z's are false. So we know it's this. Oh, sorry. Again, I just substituted in. Go back up and look at the first one if you got lost there. Um, I negate the true, so I know it's false. Uh, what are the rules on the conjunction? At least one side has to be true. Therefore, the whole thing is we have no side that's true. The whole thing's false. Down to seven. I'm going to substitute in. No, my x, y's, and z's are false. So I negate that. I know it's true. When, when I say negate it, it means whatever I have, I'm going to take the opposite. I have a false. I'm going to take the opposite of it. It's true. The reason I go to great lengths to spell that out slowly is because some of you actually get confused on the tildes. You get every other symbol, but the tilde, you look at it and you're like, I don't know what to do. Take the opposite. True. Horseshoe false. Now, if you go up to your rules, you'll know that the only time that a conditional is false is if you have an antecedent that's true and a conditional or a consequent that's false. So we know this whole thing is false. Let's go down. Go through this one a little quickly. That's true. 
This is just I'm substituting in. So one step at a time, the tilde F, take the opposite of the F here. Uh, what are the rules for the con uh, conjunction? Both sides have to be true, so the whole thing is true, right? And have to negate it, which is false. So how easy that is, you just substitute in truth values. So yeah, we have two more. So I'll let you look at this first before I jump in. Substitute, you know, your A, B's, and C's, and your X, Y's, and Z's have a certain truth value. If you want to pause the video, you pause it right before I start. You try to write it out, and then you push play and see if you got it right. Okay. So I know this whole thing is just false. Because both sides have to be true. I take the opposite of all. So let's be consistent. I'll go one step at a time. Both sides have to be true for the conjunction to be true. So I do this. Here. So I now have a false wedge true. And I know the rules for my conjunction is at least one side has to be true for the whole thing to be true. Got that right? Awesome. Last one. So again, push pause, work it out, and then click play again, and I'll solve right in front of you. Okay. Okay, so on the bioconditionals, there are triple bars. I have, um, both sides have to be the same in order for it to be true. And you have this side off from this side, so we know the whole thing's false. And over here, both sides are uh, the same. Both sides are false, so we know the whole thing's true. And here, we just, now we just have a simple. And what are the rules for conjunction? At least one side, or sorry, disjunction. At least one side has to be true for the whole thing to be what? True. Bingo. That's pretty much how you do the multiple examples of your homework. And I hope this has helped. Any questions, um, just let me know. And just as a disclaimer, this is the first time I'm recording on my... Um, it's a tablet that it's a sorry it's a laptop that folds in half into a tablet so when i'm lecturing to you and i click the screen if it makes a sound i don't know how to get that off um so i'm still learning if you have any advice just let me know otherwise i purposely go slow using these pens so that you can actually be walked through how to do this i think it's um, easier for you but you can let me know your feedback if you want all right good luck in your homework